Hello friends and family, this is Brian here. I got a trivia question for you. What happens when you cross a kid that loves to play in the mud with some science and technology? This is what you get. A mess. How many people do you know that can play with mud inside the house? Well, a bachelor can do it. Anyways, I wanted to uh, show you this. Uh, this is what they call a rocket mass heater. And uh, it's a very efficient way to burn wood. And I thought I would show you this mess before it started looking better. I just got through packing uh, my heat riser, which is that silver tube right there. And then pretty shortly this uh, 55 gallon, or no, 30 gallon drum is going to go over it. Um, as you can see, I got actually three different kinds of blocks here going on. Um, I got a base of uh, concrete block, which you can see several of them down there on the bottom. And I also have concrete block on the back and in the middle. Um, and uh, the second layer, which is only on this side, I have some fire brick as well as some red brick surrounding the base where the uh, which is going to support the 30 gallon drum which is going to go over the heat riser um, as you can see these buckets of mess that I have here I used uh, I got some clay mixture there I had some gravel mixture there as well as a little water and a little bit of sand to bring it all together to compact into the heat riser to provide more heat mass and insulation I also have here um, something which is a little bit different, which I haven't seen anybody do yet uh, on the videos I've checked out on YouTube, and that is run a water pipe through the uh, right next to where the duct's going to go, so I can um, see if I can uh, heat my hot tub. <laughs> so I'm going to be running that copper pipe uh, out that wall over there. You can see that copper pipe and uh, you're going to put some insulation around it and it's going to be a non-pressurized system so there's not going to be a whole lot of danger there it's just simply going to circulate through this rocket mass heater um, and it's obviously nowhere near completion yet uh, in the front wall here where this uh, this right here on top of the plywood I'm going to be putting uh, some flagstone um, which is like a tannin color and then uh, once I get the duct put in, there's going to be a duct that's going to come out of the 30-gallon uh, the drum, 6-inch duct, um, and it's going to run in between this uh, the same line as the um, water pipe, and uh, then it's going to come up, and then it's going to finally go out my existing, uh, what do you call it, a support box where I had for my wood stove. So um, it's going to be a very efficient system. I believe it's going to work pretty darn well. And for those of you who are familiar with rocket mass heaters, those who have uh, had to burn four cords of wood um, in the winter with a wood stove, usually only have to burn a half a cord or three quarters of a cord for the whole season. Uh, you start a two or three hour uh, fire. Uh, you get some, throw some newspaper in there get the draft going it comes up the heat riser goes out around the inside of the 30 gallon drum it's gonna come out right over there um, or I'm sorry on this side uh, the first run of duct is gonna go that way back that way over that way and then finally up and over and then out and uh, it causes a very very efficient burn process um, once this uh, mass of masonry heats up with about a three hour fire I'm thinking that it's gonna what do you call uh, stay warm for about a good 24 hours so that's why there's so little wood use is because you're once that mass heats up you don't really have to uh, worry about it for a while so I'll do this in phases I'll show you a few more videos on this um, to see what you think of it I hope it's a help to you because um, I would like to see more people make these things because not only is it more efficient and safe, but it's also um, more friendly for the environment. Not as much smoke and uh, basically just like steam 
comes out after the efficient burning process uh, is done and so it's a pretty good idea um, thank you permies.com for the idea and many people trying it and uh, we'll let you know how it goes thanks for joining